In this movie, we're going to learn how to send your audio to Adobe Audition, which is the Adobe Creative Suite's premium sound editing software that you can use to erase, repair, and create sounds. So in most cases, you're going to use it for some advanced cleanup or restorative work. And its integration with other applications within the Creative Suite, and in our case, Adobe Premiere Pro, is really elegant and easy. Let's take a look at how it works. So I'm gonna show you how to send a clip over to Audition, and then I'm gonna show you how to send a clip within a sequence over to Audition, and then I'll finally show you how to send an entire sequence over to Audition. So this is not a tutorial on using Audition per se, but just showing you the integration. All right, so I'm going to load this clip here, and this is our good old interview with Doug. I'll play this. All right, so his audio levels are really low. It needs some work. Let's go ahead and just right click on this clip and choose edit in Adobe Audition. And this is a clip, so we're gonna choose clip. Before I go into anything here, I'm gonna quickly go back to Premiere Pro. And you can see that what it's done is it's extracted the audio from this clip. So as you can see here, it appended it with audio extracted. So we're actually going to be modifying this audio clip here. All right, so back in Audition. I'm going to go ahead and play this and let's take a look at our audio meters down here. And remember, we want things peaking right around negative 12. Let's see where they're at now. So I'm going to just increase the decibels here until it is peaking properly. One of the things we do as craftsmen is try and use the process that best suits, best suits the product that we're trying to produce. But having so I'm happy with that, but you probably noticed that as I increase the levels, the noise increased as well. So I'm going to remove that, or try to. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to capture what's called a noise print. By the way, I'm zooming in just by pressing the plus key on the keyboard. A noise print is usually someplace where he's not talking, so I'm just going to basically scroll over this, and I'm going to press spacebar to see if this is a good representation of noise. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna come up to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, and Capture Noise Print, that's Shift P. And once that's been stored, you can actually reduce the noise. But you have to select everything, so I'm going to go ahead and press Command A to select the entire clip, and then come back up to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration, and then this time I'm gonna choose Noise Reduction, and that's Shift Command P or Shift Control P on a PC. I'm going to go ahead and play this and see what the default values have done. I might move these sliders around just a little bit. Again, this is not a course on perfecting audio and audition, but I'm just going to do a little bit of work, and then we'll see how it translates back to Premiere. You know, I think asking a printer why he's chosen which method to use would be like asking a painter why he chose oil over watercolor. One of the things we do as craftsmen is try and use the process that best suits, best suits the product that we're trying to produce. All right, I think I'm happy right around 80. So I'm going to apply this. So it's been applied over here, but we haven't saved. So if I go back to Premiere Pro real quick and I load this up, you'll notice that this is still going to be poor quality audio. Now I'll go back to Audition and let's go ahead and save this, Command S. Now we'll go back to Premiere Pro. And you can see right in front of your eyes that the clip is updated. I'm going to go ahead and... But having said that, I think that's probably as an artist. All right, great. And certainly if you want, go back to the previous movie so that you can remind yourself how you can merge this higher quality audio clip with the lower audio quality video and audio clip. So that's called round tripping and it's very easy to do. You can do the same thing with the clip right in the timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. And this is the same exact clip. I'm gonna play this. All right, even if I solo it, it's really low. All right, so same workflow, basically. You just click on it, right click, and then choose Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. And again, you go through the same exact workflow. Just real quick, let's just perform it. It's just, it's amazing. All right, so we'll capture the noise print. That's a Shift P. And then let's go ahead and select everything, Command A, and then open up the noise reduction tool, Shift Command P. And let's see what the default values did for me. Letterpress doesn't look like anything else. It's just... All right, I'm going to just apply this. And then I'm going to save. And I'm going to go back to Premiere Pro. And voila. Letterpress doesn't look like anything else. It's just... It's amazing. And 
we probably just would increase the volume a little bit here. But otherwise, we're in good shape. It just doesn't look like anything else. All right, so very, very easy to either send a clip or a clip within a sequence over. And if you want to send an entire sequence, you can do that too. You would just right click on the sequence in the project pane and then edit in Adobe Audition. And this time choose sequence. And here's where you actually need to save some project information. So you would give it a name and you would save it to a certain location. You would choose whether to send the entire sequence or a work area. And we're gonna learn about work areas later in the course. You can choose to export a preview video so that you can see what you're working on in Adobe Audition. And if you have effects applied in Premiere Pro, you have a choice. You can render those in order to keep them and then just apply additional effects in Audition. Or you can uncheck this and then all of the effect work will be removed. A lot of audio mixers do prefer to remove work done in Premiere so that they can start from scratch. You can also choose to keep the volume keyframing that you've done in Premiere, or not. And then this open in Adobe Audition option will just launch the sequence in Audition, which is what we want to do. So editing the audio for an entire sequence in Audition is beyond the scope of this course, but I did want to show you how to get it done. I'm going to cancel for now. All right, so bottom line, when you need to perform cleanup or restorative work, it's not only easy to send a clip to Adobe Audition, but you can elegantly bring your changes back to Adobe Premiere Pro. And of course, if you're interested, you can learn all about how to use Adobe Audition in several courses within the lynda.com online training library.